This week, we get redemption. At the thrift store. Are those seagulls? Do you know where we are? Hi, so you might remember from last week's video that I was attempting to do a thrift store challenge where I can only buy one thing. And then I ended up finding someone's entire vintage dress collection, so I bought a couple things. So this week we are getting redemption. We're gonna attempt this thrift store challenge again where I can only buy one thing. It shouldn't be that hard, right? Yeah, we'll see. I already have um, a multitude of items in my cart. Would you like to see some of them? They might not be what you're expecting. We've got... Can you guys help me decipher what this says? Atiere. I'm stunned by my own stupidity. It says Katie Ray. And this is like handmade. Although I'm gonna expose myself. I'm not like a Disney adult by any means. Mickey Mouse doesn't do much for me unless it's this Mickey Mouse. But I feel like there's some of you watching this right now that are frothing at the mouth. Next, it's one of these wall hangings that is a calendar and it features some very cute little kittens. So that's a contender. And then speaking of the kitchen, you guys want an apron fashion show? If this ain't me. And then I also found this other apron. It's just like a classic canvasy one from William Samo Samo Sonoma. I thought this would even be like a good painting apron. Oh, and I found these two matching cushions that have like handmade crochet covers on them. I don't really know what I would use them for, but I just liked them. Wanted to show you. Okay, let's go look through the rest of this entire huge store. While I look through these shoes, I wanted to officially extend the invitation for you to partake in this thrift store challenge yourself. Friend of the channel, Nicole Palmer, posted her thrift with me, but I can only buy one thing challenge, and it was a hoot and a half. If you wanna watch her video, I'll post a link in my description, and if you do the challenge, make sure to tag me so I can see what kind of treasure you find. Okay, back to the video. Wow, these are... So weird and cool, this color. You don't see that every day. I think they're too small though. Okay, these are fun. I pointed loafers, the new thing? Maybe. Wow, real deal penny loafers. I like this blue color. I found this. I'm kind of tempted to get it and like see what kind of pictures I can take. Also, little book stamp. What are these called? Like ex libris stamps? I don't know. It'd be fun to make my own stamp. Custom book ownership stamp. Ooh, I love a good ruler. All right, clearly we're being distracted by home goods, so let's get distracted by home goods. Very cute. Wow, Steven. I'm impressed. <laughs> Smells like a porta potty. This aisle has great potential for cursed objects. Your classic damn it doll. He's giving Black Phillip. Oh my gosh. Black Phillip, what have you done? Why do I love this? All right, little buddy, ready to tackle the wall of dresses. Yes, I'm gonna look at every single one. No, I won't put you through that. I'll just show you the highlights. Do the thrift store challenge, they said. It'll be fun, they said. And I still have more racks to look through. We're gonna look through the tops. I just peeked through the pants. I found one skirt. Eee, this guy. So let's see what we can find and then we'll try stuff on. Ooh, pastel clown core. It is time. This 
little vintage brown dress. It's cute. Not for me though. I did find this little vintage play suit. I really hope it fits because those seagulls are really cute. Update. 100% does not fit. Let's try on this extremely overpriced but beautiful dress. Objectively, great dress. Wish this was a little bit higher. I feel like that one emoji, you know? Well, a dressing room full of duds. Sometimes it do be like that. Even after a dressing room full of duds, you're still here for me, little buddy. Before I leave, I'm gonna take a peek through the jewelry. Oh my gosh, what is this? What a weird combination of things. It's a pin, but maybe it could be a little pendant for a necklace. Wait, is this it? Okay, it is time to decide. Let's go sort through the cart and make the biggest decision of our lives. And if I can't decide, I'll just um, grab a random piece of medicine from these medicine buckets. First contender, vintage apron. Second contender, little cat calendar wall hanging item. Third contender, handmade Mickey Mouse wall hanging with mystery name. Fourth contender, pointy loafies. Next contender, big old canvas tote bag from the library. Very cute. And the final showdown, cursed low buddy or Halloween pendant that I can put on a necklace. I love it very much. But I also love the idea of this guy just sitting on the floor in my living room. Actually, recently I was watching one of Paige Wassell's video. If you don't watch her, she's hilarious, go watch. And she was noting that in a bunch of celebrity home tours, they have like a stuffed sheep in the living room just hanging out. And I'm like, it could be me. Why can't that be me? Cast your votes down in the comments and I'll see you when I get home for the final reveal. Take care of him. You know, like a sheep? Sorry. This little jack-o'-lantern angel charm is my thrift store challenge winner. And we're just gonna consider little buddy a thrift store refugee. He just hitched a ride home, okay? He's part of the family now. And speaking of being family, we should come up with a proper name for him. I mean, he'll always be little buddy, but let me know down in the comments if you have a good name option for this little friend. Getting back to my Halloween charm. So I was thinking we could do a little bit of surgery, a little bit of metallurgy, and try and remove the pin on the back so that we can just have a flat charm to go on our necklace. How am I gonna do that? It's a good question. I'm hoping brute force will be the answer. <laughs> ah, look at this sweet little thing. I know this was kind of a random thing to win my thrift store challenge, but like I mentioned at this store, it's just such a funny combination of imagery, a little angel, a little pumpkin. Feels like the kind of thing you wouldn't find every day. Speaking of angels, I have another angel necklace. Maybe we can layer them up. Hold please. 
Do y'all remember this little brass guy? I think it was literally my first thrift with me. We were looking for the chain to go with this charm from a really cool artist on Instagram. But let's layer them up, see how it goes. Maybe we'll take off the earrings and let the necklaces speak for themselves. It's like it was meant to be. All right, let's head back downstairs. I have some fun mail to open and I wanna show you a little furniture item that I got recently too. Let's go. So I recently picked up this beautiful vintage little wicker set on Facebook Marketplace. It's by Danny Ho Fong, and I believe they made a lot of like bamboo and rattan furniture back in the 70s in California. I just love this little corner of our house at the moment. It is quite the vibe. And if you follow me on Instagram, you probably already knew this because I was very excitedly posting about it when I picked it up. So if you wanna follow me on Instagram, you can do that at Kathleen Illustrated. Okay, okay, okay. Before we say goodbye for the week, I just have one more fun thing to show you that I got in the mail. Whoa. After I open this, it will officially be spooky season. So be prepared. These are my um, Halloween decoration sound effects. If you don't follow Shaggy on Instagram or Sarah, you are missing out on some of the very best art that there is. She recently did a Halloween drop and my friends and I were like counting down before the drop with our little trigger fingers over the mouths ready to buy. So I snagged this super sweet little dancing ghost print. I love her work because it is so light and almost transparent and it's so silly and fun. Also, it came with this tiny mini print on the back and I might love it even more than the ghost print. So I guess that means I need to go thrifting for some frames, some real tiny little frames. There's also some other art that I need to frame as well. Maybe we'll have a whole like art framing video. I do have one of those from a long time ago. You can watch it, it might be a little bit cringy, but cringe is the spice of life. And that's a hill that I will die on. As this video comes to a close, I will once again implore you for name suggestions for Little Buddy. I would love a slightly spooky name, like Black Phillip from The Witch. Maybe, maybe this is Dark Ronald. I'm open to anything. Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this week. I really appreciate it. And if you have not yet subscribed, or if this is your first time watching my channel, hello, welcome. Maybe hit that subscribe button down below. I make videos every week. We usually go to the thrift store, but sometimes we don't. Sometimes we do other things. Sometimes we do artsy things. Either way, it's usually a pretty good time and I would love it if you stuck around for a while. If you wanna watch some more of my videos right now, you can watch my Thrifty Finds playlist. Lots of Thrift With Me's in there or last week's video if you haven't caught up yet. All right, it's time for me and he who has not yet been named to get out of here. I hope you have a great week. I love ya, be good. He'll be watching and I'll see you next week. Bye. Boop.